Okay, um, after installing the 2 inch AAV spacer lift kit, um, let us go for a drive. And for this episode, uh, I'll be reviewing the drive comfort and how the lift performs on a highway. Let's go! Okay, so as you know, we have installed the AV 2 inch spacer lift on Emily's uh, JL Wrangler Rubicon. So now we are going to go out for a test drive, and uh, one of the most crucial things about test driving is uh, the steering. So you can ensure that everything is straightened, there is no drifting, there is no uh, vibration, and that this uh, car tracks straight. So very easy on a straight road, just come to about 40 km per hour and you let go of your hands and you see if the vehicle is moving straight if there's, there's any corrections needed and then after that you got to go down to the tie rod I mean the drag link, sorry you got to adjust the drag link to actually center this uh, steering wheel so we are on a relatively uh, busy road now with uh, traffic lights and everywhere I'm heading towards the entrance of a highway <laughs> Central Expressway uh, in Singapore. Uh, I'm cruising up to speed. Uh, I'm at 80 km per hour, and it feels like it feels like stock. Um, just that yes, the right height you do feel that two inch um, difference in the right height, and as you can see on a relatively straight highway, I don't really have to actually adjust my steering wheel. It's kind of straight, so um, I guess. A 2 inch lift isn't that much a deal to affect the, the steering the, I, but it, always, it is always good to check because um, once you've touched the undercarriage components it's always good to do a realignment and of course centering of the steering wheel but um, I guess with this there's no need to make a trip to the workshop so um, the whole overall feel it is actually very nice, it's comfortable, it is not at all bumpy There's no weird vibration and of course there's no weird sounds coming out from anywhere And I gotta say, it feels a lot like stock, um, just higher So let us uh, cruise down the expressway and uh, I'll report on any findings Lorsque le soleil sur les murs vienne se poser et qui me tient entre ses bras très fort serré, c'est à moi auquel je pense. Okay, uh, now I've exited the highway and uh, let me just do a recap, a review on the uh, highway portion of this uh, 2 inch AV spacer lift I've got to say that uh, most part of the journey was comfortable uh, it was smooth wasn't any weird vibrations uh, no creaking noises um, but one thing I got to point out is that when we go through those uh, road small little road bumps uh, it definitely feels more obvious as compared to stock but that is to be expected because um, you did not actually adjust back the caster angles and did not adjust back um, the specs um, with an adjustable lower control arm, front lower control arm but I guess it's okay um, as I'll be installing a AV uh, stem geometry correction brackets so hopefully that will make it feel better and 
I'm quite confident that this AEV has done a great job on their 2 inch budget boost and this is actually a very good um, lift, a budget lift for those of you who actually wants to be lifted but do not want to spend so much money on a full suspension lift or on a full lift kit that comes with uh, adjustable track bars, adjustable control arms, shocks and springs, you know, this is going to be uh, kind of uh, expensive. So this will do and will definitely be fitting 37 inches of uh, rubber on Emily's GR Wrangler Rubicon. There was kind of a debate between 35 and 37, but I think we all sort of uh, agreed that we shall go 37 so that you do not have any regrets going 35 so uh, while we are still waiting for the tires and rims to come um, one of the next videos that I'm going to post on Emily's GR Wrangler Rubicon is installing this uh, phone mount uh, from Rugged Ridge um, as you know this is a right hand drive there's not a lot of phone mount available in the market um, for this car because uh, it's either more towards the driver which is to the left of this car away from me or you know it's just uh, not suitable so this rather rich mount is actually mounted uh, in the middle straight middle that actually uh, benefits the right hand drive model so that will be in the next video to come so now let us uh, continue on as we are reaching home we'll be uh, I know that we'll be going on to uh, speed bump speed hump or some of you can call speed bump um, I would like to try it out over a bump so that I can feel the difference uh, between the bumpiness, the feeling of um, before and after because uh, we've driven through that speed bump since the first day we got this uh, Emily's GL Wrangler Rubicon and now that it's lifted, uh, we are going to try again on the same speed bump and feel how it feels. So um, let us continue on as we are reaching our house and let us try out that speed bump. Okay, now that uh, we are approaching the speed hump, uh, let Emily film it up for you. It's that black and white uh, hump that you see on the road over there. So, we are going to go over it and at speed and... Okay, yes. Um, Definitely more noticeable, definitely more uh, rough um, than before But I guess, um, like I say, it's to be expected So nothing, no complaints about this 2 inch AAV lift, spacer lift kit So um, do look out for our next video Like I say, we'll be installing a phone mount on the dash of this uh, GR Wrangler Rubicon And uh, I'm excited to show you how to do it And um, well, with that being said, let us uh, end this uh, short little review video um, on a good note. And thank you very much for watching the JL Journal. Remember to comment in the comment section below if you still have any questions about this 2-inch AV spacer lift. And any other questions that you might have, and uh, I'll be happy to answer them. I'll be happy to uh, read them. So, um, see you then. Bye!